Hey there friends and enemies, Joe right here once again and today I have a Battlefield 2042 video for you and this is going to be my initial impressions with the 2042 beta which I've had early access to and I've been really enjoying diving in. Especially as somebody who is brand new to the Battlefield franchise, I have not touched a Battlefield before this so I'm going to give my thoughts as somebody who is new and is jumping in for the very first time because I think there's going to be a lot of people like me who are not either long-time Battlefield players or long-time COD players, just players who like this type of game in general and want to see if this is worth checking out. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. It helps me out tremendously. I'm going to be covering Battlefield 2042 a lot as it releases and even up to release because they still haven't announced the full details of Hazard Zone, so I'll be checking that out. Uh, Battlefield Portal feels like uh, the perfect type of game mode for me personally. And now we've got All Out Warfare. This is the type of game that I, I think traditional Battlefield players are really, really going to enjoy. It's large scale. Uh, I'm playing on the PS5, so I've got 100 and 28 players in the lobbies, which is kind of crazy. Um, the action feels pretty frenetic. There's always a place to go. The only downsides is obviously when you're traveling from one capture spawn to another. But it's easy enough to call in vehicles and travel. Although the driving, and the you'll see in the gameplay later, the driving and the flying for me is just not, not it. I'm not great at it. It's not something I'm really good at. So... I'm going to talk about pros and cons right now from what I've personally seen. Pros are some of the in-game features like the rocket going off in the middle of the game, the tornado. Some of that stuff is really unique and really cool and I enjoyed it and it adds a different layer to the, the gameplay because it's something that you have to play around and it makes every game feel a little bit unique. The gunplay felt pretty smooth. I did enjoy it. Uh, adding the attachments was kind of a pain in the ass to figure out, but nothing too crazy. And once I got the hang of it, the sniper felt the best, in my opinion, once I started hitting some headshots. And I really enjoyed the LMG, although I heard that the AR, there's a no-recoil AR build that's fantastic as well. I haven't had a chance to try that out. Overall, gunplay felt good. It's a little weird going from something like Call of Duty, something like Destiny, because the TTK does feel quite a bit longer, but I, that's Battlefield, and I can't complain if that's how the game typically is. And it does make sniping feel more relevant, because if you can hit your shots, you can take someone down really, really quickly. Um, the map, I, I enjoyed the map. Uh, the large scale feel felt really cool. The overall, uh, the game ran pretty well for me personally. I did have some some glitches, some lag a little bit from time to time. The hit registration was the most frustrating thing. Sometimes I felt like uh, I was getting tags or hits on a character or an enemy and it just wasn't registering, but... Um, I've had that happen in other games and hopefully that's something they sort out and smooth out as they go along. Other than that, uh, graphically the game looks really good. I haven't had the issues that I've seen other people have so far. So for me personally, I'm not really too entirely pressed about some people saying that the game needs to be delayed again. I know they officially announced that this is an initial build. The next build for the full launch is actually a better one than this and they've smoothed out some of these issues that we're seeing so all that to say i really enjoyed my time so far with the battlefield beta i'm going to i played a bunch of hours yesterday i'm going to keep playing today i wanted to show off just a little bit of gameplay just so you guys get a feel for what i was experiencing especially as a new battlefield player and let you guys know if you want to check out Battlefield 100%, play the beta while it's available, see how much you like it, and then if you're still on the fence, then wait until after release, see the reviews at that point, and 
don't jump into a game just because everyone's hyped about it. See if it's for you and see if it's going to work well as you're playing it because I think that's the most important thing. A lot of people tend to forget when they're pre-ordering games. They get caught up in the hype and that's not something that will be good long-term because you're going to be frustrated. You're going to be aggravated that you spent the time and the money on this game and only played it for like the first week or so and then you put it down. So my recommendation, definitely play the game. Try the, the driving the flying because that was... For me, not it. I can't do all that. But once you get the rest of the game played down, there's some things you can do in uh, this game that you cannot do in others. Uh, diving in, jumping, and shooting a rocket and blowing up a tank or uh, sniping somebody while on a zip line. All of that movement. That's the other thing I forgot to mention. The movement felt really, really good. Uh, sliding felt good. Being able to take the zip lines basically everywhere and <laughs> testing out the different characters, the different classes was also really cool. I tended to like the one with the Sentry, but there's a lot of options there and they all feel pretty unique. The customization is pretty solid and there's going to be even more at full release, so I'm excited about that. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. You're going to see some gameplay. Uh, nothing too crazy, but I wanted to show that off and talk about my thoughts. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. My name is Joe Perites. I'll catch you all later.
down.